フォースアバロン九条京也ガンダムエイジスマグナム出る Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenmolex channel. Today we're building the Build Diverse Gundam H2 Magnum SV version. So this is just a normal Magnum, but with a with uh, shoes <laughs> and to GN drive look like funnel thing. I don't know what that's called, but okay. Uh, anyway, let's look at the size. So this is the we got an introduction. So okay, official name of it is called the Sig Maxness Funnel. Is it how you call it? And then of course Phoenix mode would add a little more things. Honestly, though, this box uh, compared to the original Magnum, it seems kind of decent. Not like very exciting or or anything because. If you remember the first Magnum box art is a charging shooting form and now this thing is just holding it's just holding a sword and then with a gun and now it doesn't look as cool as the first box art but that's does not matter what's the matter is inside so we got a description here if you really want to take a look at it you can stop here and then you can read that anyway let's open that so we got Whoa, that's a lot of it. We got six packages and the instruction manual. So of course it's custom from the H2 Magnum. And now at the front, this is the details as well. If you really want to read it, just stop here and then you can read it. And this is the weapons. So first, and then the transformation. It's basically mostly the same like the H2 Magnum and it's just a couple new parts yeah well let's start opening the packages as you can see a huge number of runners just got unleashed and so let's start looking at runners so we got uh noble body caps and then we got a uh sticker so probably exactly the same amount of last time because i don't remember i threw away that empty sticker so i didn't really remember first let's start with the new parts m runner this is the new parts of the uh, legs part and head parts and also the sigmas funnel right is that how you pronounce that yeah that's the d runner original h2 is the hand option in the frame joints and a and the uh hyperdose funnel right? oh no, no, no rifle sorry and that's the k1 runner this is the original h2 magnums uh runner but it just colored in gray so as we can see we can see some uh funnels part we can see the waist we can see head and some part of the shoulders this is Jade Runner. This is the uh, part of funnel shield, uh, shoulders, and legs. Exactly the same like last time. Uh, Beam Saber's effect part eight Runner is from the original H uh, two. As we can see, we can see the back of the waist, uh, the original head, uh, some hands, uh, armor, and then the waist part. We got torso we got a uh, side skirt and then the some part of the torso with the bottom here extra base the clear piece the clear piece for the shield and the funnels that's the end part we got some uh, this is actually a new part as well so i assume this one is for the transformation and the backpack connection that's the old runner uh it's for sv version as well i think it's for the uh legs i don't really sure that's the k2 runner just like a k1 runner is the funnels shoulders and some other parts as well right that's the quick introduction of the runners and i will see you guys in the review
Hey and welcome back to the review of the H2 Magnum SV version. So this is the finishing of it. If you don't know what SV stands for, it's Saver. So the GBN Saver, the champion. Uh, my voice now will sound a bit weird. I'm extremely sick right now, but I have to make the video. So I decided to use this sick voice to narrate the whole review. So don't mind too much. I'm very sorry. Now my voice sound really different right now, right? Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So first, uses a lot of different things. Uh, there's a lot of different things on this gunplay. Uh, I will take out the original H2 Magnum and do a comparison. But first, I know, my first impression about this gunplay is is pretty. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Especially the the only part that I don't like is the legs part. The extended unit at the legs is looks very weird it looks like it looks it looks like h2 magnum wearing a slipper and going to the battlefield it just give you that kind of feeling the slippers and they of course you can you can choose not to put on this uh standing base you just have to extend the slippers to stand it up and i'll show you later so first overall let's do a comparison of two ms i made the uh sv version stand now uh, stand on the ground so now you can kind of see the comparison so by the way this this h2 magnum is built one year ago wow that is such a quick time one year ago i built this so now uh when i you know mess around with it it's gonna be very sloppy and it's not as good as one year ago so we'll see about that but anyway i just uh keep looking at it first so First, you can see the two comparisons though. The four funnels, they are all exactly the same. Not really any different at all. But the head, this time, if you look closely, uh, the H2 Magnum, uh, let me put it closer. So if you look closely, the two headpiece here uh, is different. This one is more thicker. This one is more thinner, if you can look it closely. And look at the head closely. You can see the bend angle is completely different. So the H2 Magnum is more, what should I say, it's more, it's more low and this one is more sharp, like going up. It's kind of give you a feeling of the gold frame Amazumina. And next, we're going to look at the shoulders. Shoulders, basically no different as well. Is it though? Yeah, it, it's no different. The shoulders is no different though. Now look at the torso. Torso again is exactly no difference, but the difference uh, is here. So the side skirt, this side skirt uses the original H2 side skirt. This one this time is a uh, two beam cannons at the side, so it's gonna be a little different. Overall, the waist is different. The waist is just the side skirt different. And now we look at the feet. The feet is more noticeable different. So now if I turn it around like this, and then let you look at it. So you can see the feet designed differently. This one here, we're hanging the slippers. This one here, we don't have anything at all. And now we turn it to the back, we can see more difference. So this one is nothing, absolutely nothing. And this one though, we have two Sigmas, Sigmas, <laughs> I give up on pronouncing that. We got the funnels, uh, which do look like two GN drives, by the way. And now we look at to the side here, it is, it is different. It's a new piece here, and it's, it is the old piece, old piece here. So, back waist, not really having any different at all. The transformation, basically, it is the same, but uh, it's just a couple things being added. So, overall, if I have to give a comment about it, let me turn it to front first. If I have to give a comment about two of them, I would say, Ooh. Yeah, as you can see, it's not standing well now. And uh, overall, I would say this H2 Magnum, this one, it gives us a feeling of villain and strong. And this one right here is low key and it fits the theme of Saver. So this two here, you can see as angel and devil. So I really like that kind of idea because I think that would be very perfect to do a huge comparison. But seriously though, the only thing that I don't like about the SV version is that slippers at on the feet is seriously weird, okay? Other than that, everything else I think is perfect. So first, let's look at the uh, main articulation. So first the head, up, down, 
and uh, 360 rotation definitely no problem and i really like the part of the head is a uh, it it do feel sloppy but it's actually pretty good on holding it together so you will move it around and then it suddenly pop out it won't have that kind of thing happen um the head camera is by stickers as one as the back as well and the torso uh, the a the h sign here is a sticker two black sticker used at the chest spot and i seriously need to say though the only thing that i don't like about the h2 magnum design is this you know it, can you see it this hole right here the hole right here in front of the chest i think it's kind of broken the what should i say it's kind of influencing the overall looking but anyway it doesn't really matter though so i think it's fine uh yeah now let's look at the waist part here uh waist part here color separation doing a very good job you don't have to do anything else because it's already separated for you so this front skirt able to uh crap um able to lift up 90 and as well as the side skirt the side skirt is able to lift up 90 as well this is actually a pretty good side skirt movement and then we turn it to the back uh the back skirt here is moved up 45 as well it's actually a pretty good overall movement so uh this gunpla is definitely worth to buy first it's good looking second it is a very good articulation ms so if you really want to look for it at, uh, something that is very poseable or very fun to mess around with definitely buy this one so now let's talk about the arms the arms is able to move 360 it's also move able to move slightly to the front and back as well the funnels on the the funnels on the shoulders is able to move uh, 180 or across the the top of the shoulders because it's connected with the funnels is slightly movable as well the hand the hand is a triple joint so it's got a really good bending angle and as well as the bottom hand here it is a very good articulation here and also this time Bandai is nice enough to give us some hand options so from the looks at it we got a open hand option and we got a fist hand that is very good they actually give you something to actually you know to mess around with and now the overall legs though legs is able to bend very 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 up high and it is able to kick to the side kick to the back kick to the front and also the ankles here is movable as well it's movable if you move that around you can you know extend the movement it is a double piece here so the back of the slippers i'll call it slippers so the slippers can move around if you want if you really want to put it back to the slippers mode just simply bend the legs just bend the legs like this and then you now put the slippers back on and this is how you do the sv version of sanding if you don't you can just do it like me flip it back flip these back and then just let it stand there so it's really your choice though so if you really want to if you want to let it stand just do it like that if you want to put it in a stand just do whatever i just said so it is it that it does give you two options about whether you want to stand it or you want it to flow the sixmas funnel at the back is a connect is connected with a uh joint so you can move up and down if i you simply just plug it in so it's not going to be really anything the whole funnel is able to ooh, this is what happened when you extend it too much so i do need to warn you though if you extend it too much it will pop out so please be careful so now let me just do it again so now it's able of extending and as you can see you can see the cannon in the funnel so it is a pretty good design you can move out every single piece of it but unfortunately this time bandai as usual they didn't give you the special eva card otherwise you can otherwise i was hoping they can provide a stand for us and then let us uh regroup the f experts effects but they didn't give you the stand and I seriously don't know how to customize it. There's uh, some tutorials on the internet that says how do you recreate the F burst uh, position, but I'm not that kind of genius. I don't know how to do it, and I can't find a video anymore for some reason. It is in Japanese, so uh, if you have interest about how to do the F burst, you can search up that video and you can make one for yourself. So for the accessory, we got this uh, Havadu's rival, and this is a very good uh design though it can pull down 
and a lot of part is actually suitable for transformation and even the handle down here is movable as well so you can adjust to the angle that you want and we also got two beam sabers if I, I haven't cut it out yet because I haven't shoot the photos the beam saber is sitting is sitting at the side of the uh, back skirt so this is where you can pull out the beam sabers and then if, install the effect part on it other than that not really not gonna have any accessory at all so now i'm just gonna show you where you all be waiting for the transformation oh i almost forgot about this accessory the shield this kit gives you two shields but only one connector so i just rip off the other connector from my other h2 magnum does this pose remind you of something double shield if you've been watching the movies yes does it look like infinity wars captain america I'm gonna show you how to do the transformation right now. Uh, this is basically just rip off everything off the gobbler. Yeah, just like the set of transformation. So first, uh, you rip off the limbs and then now you pull the center of the torso, you move it to the back and then there's a connector at the, at the backpack. You just basically need to just plug it in. Just plug it in, okay? Just plug it in, just give me a second. It is a bit, it is a bit hard to plug it in correctly. So now I plug it in correctly now. So now you just need to move down the move down the funnel so now you should have something like this and then now you move those two to the front you move you move those two cannons to the front like this great and then now you're gonna have to do something to the uh, to the rifle so now you pull down the rival oh psh, i accidentally pull off the whole thing should have grew that uh, so now you pull off that thing you flip it around Put it back in another way. So now we have something like this. You move up the you move up the handle, pull down everything, and pull this at the back. You see, you you, you remember the ugly part that I talked about the torso. Basically, you just pluck it in there. Now you you have something like this. So now your H two mechanism should look something like this. And now you just have to put on the the legs. So for the legs, they did give you a extra joint. So this is for you to put in the uh, the legs part. And remember, always whoop. I remember as always, always put your put this side at the bottom so you don't mess it up. Basically, the legs is very simple. You just have to tilt it like this. You have the legs or you have the legs ready to go. And now, what you have to do is just plug it back on the flighter. By now, you should have something like this. Remember, do you remember we got two shields? Just put the one that you don't have the connector on and put it at the back of the flighter. It is a bit hard to do it, so please be careful. So you have, so now by now, you will have something like this. By now, you will have something like this. And now let's do to, and now let's do the hands. Just move that right for a second now. Pull down, pull down, and basically just build it up like this. And then now, what you have to do, flip the flip the wings out, and then do it to the same as the other side. So basically, doing it like this. And also remember to flip up, flip up the top of the shoulder. So you should have something like this. Now, when the whole transformation done, you should have something like this. I honestly need to say though. <coughs> The slippers actually extended the fighter to look it a little better, but in MS mode, it looks kind of weird. But in MA mode, it looks fine. It looks like a tail wing for the uh, fighter. But now, so the whole MA process is completed. As you can see, this is like actually pretty easy XG transformation because usually we need to rip off the parts, you know, reassemble it, returning it around this time. All you have to do is just rip off the limbs and then just basically, you know, twist a bit, uh, turn a bit, adjust the angle. That's it. This is a pretty good transformation for a XG. I actually really like this. And perhaps I said the last I last time I said about the H2 back of the set is pretty annoying. But actually when I built a lot of Goblers and right now, and I feel like this one is way, way, way simpler than the other transformation MS because you just tear you apart and then reassemble again. This time you just twist, turn, all done.
Now that's just that's just one beautiful flight right here, and uh, and you wonder where the head is is here. The head is here. <laughs> So I think this flight are actually doing a very good job on hiding the gunpla's head. So this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So I just make a random post of like the H2 negative firing the funnels. I don't know how to do the epic burst. I don't have enough action base. But anyway, uh, honestly though, I think this is a very good, very good, very good gunpla. It got uh, very good transformation, uh, good articulation, good, uh, good looking. And it's very good design. I think it's a very worthy gunpla. If you have a good price or you saw it, just buy one and enjoy it. I'm sure. But the only thing that causes a problem is probably slippers. That's it. But anyways, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.